Okay, so I have two ruffles attached and they look amazing and full. I love this fabric. Um, and I have one ruffle left. So you can see I still have my dotted line here. And so I'm gonna put this one on and then we will come right back. Okay, so we have all three ruffles attached here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sandwich the ruffles in to in between the back piece and the front piece. So I'm gonna do this and lay the front piece right on top. And I'm actually going to make sure that all of these ruffles are laying nice and flat or flat-ish, I mean they're ruffles, they can't lay terribly flat. Up. As flat as we can. And then just making sure that they're not like folded. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pin them into place with the side of the leg. So I'm gonna pin and then I'm gonna sew this whole side and I'm gonna pin and I'm gonna sew this side, 3 8 inch of a seam allowance. And uh, I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna use my serger, but you could also use a zigzag stitch or a stretch stitch. Okay, so I've serged both of the outer legs of the leggings. And now what we need to do is open up one of the legs so that the right side is facing upward like this. And then we're going to actually grab our pattern piece again and lay it on top. It, it, they go straight across so it really doesn't matter which way it goes. And then what we're gonna do is grab our Sharpie again. Make sure we line it up with the bottom. And then we're gonna make our marks. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna use the pattern piece. And I am just going to use that to kind of give myself a guide to go straight across. Okay. So now that I have my lines drawn, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the pattern piece on here and I'm going to find my ankle ruffles. And so for the 12 to 18 months, I need to cut three or six strips, um, one and a half inches by 20 inches. And so then there will be the three strips on this leg and then the three strips on this leg and I'm going to attach them exactly the same as how I attached them to the rear. So I'm gonna get that done and I'll be back. Okay, so I actually forgot a step um, to mention to you. So we've got our lines drawn on the leggings here on the legs. And what we're going to do um, before we attach the ruffles is we are going to actually fold a hem on the bottom one inch upward and we're going to stitch it into place. Um, it is important that you do draw the lines before you hem it um, because of how it's written in the pattern piece. So I'm going to do that now and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so I have folded the bottom ankle area of each of the legs um, after I have drawn my um, ruffle markings for the legs. I folded it inward one inch and then I um, sewed it into place uh, and I sewed this ab about an eighth of an inch, actually it's almost like a quarter of an inch. Um, away from the edge. It's just how my presser foot lined up 
I did make sure to use a stretch stitch and as you can see it just looks like a zigzag stitch there. So now I'm going to attach all of my ruffles to the legs. Okay, so I got one leg of ruffles done. I still have to pull out all of um, my basting stitch in there, but I just think it's so pretty. I just can't stop looking at it. Look at that ruffle deliciousness. Okay, so I also wanna show you the back um, so that you can see what you can expect it to look like. So here I've got my three lines of ruffles and I had actually used an elastic stitch on this one um, to add my ruffles and that's really my favorite because I mean check that out there is just so much stretch there so then when I go to remove my basting stitch what I'll do is I'll actually stretch it just like that and then all of my basting stitches will um, kind of pop a little bit and then I can easily just take my seam ripper and just pull them right out oh look at those ruffles all right I'm gonna go to the other leg now Look at all of this ruffle gorgeousness on the leg. Mm -hmm. 